Okay, this next move, I'm going to show you how to set up an arm bar. So we're going to actually apply two submissions in this one particular movement. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do the arm bar, and then eventually I'm going to show you how to do the triangle choke from the same position while attempting the arm bar, where he defends against the arm bar. So the first two movements is actually I'm going to be able to apply the arm bar. The third one I'm going to show you again, and then I'm going to show you three different ways, three different methods of the same thing where I can apply the uh, triangle choke. Okay, so I'm going to start from the mount position. So from the mount position, I'm going to slide it in. So I try to put my weight across his arm to get him to turn on his side. I slide my arm inside and I cross face him here. I start to slide up. My knee, this knee and this foot comes up basically at the same time. So all my weight, I put all my weight on him. I use it to slide up. I put my foot on the edge underneath his armpit. That way, I put all my weight on here. I'm keeping him down by using my hand against his head. So he can't come up when I'm ready to sit back. So I keep all the weight on it. Now, look how easy it is for me to put my foot over without having to actually kick it over very high, giving him too much space. So at this point, look, one, two, very easy, because all my weight is on that side, but I'm still keeping him in position. One, two, one, two. So now when I want to apply the arm bar, it's simple. I give him no space, and I apply the arm bar. So again, so I push his arm across, I lay on it. This is going to help me to get him turned on his side. And I'm going to fish hook it underneath. And then put all my weight on his head. Right now I'm putting, I'm putting it on his shoulder because I don't want to hurt him. So instead of putting all my weight here, I'm going to put it on the shoulder just to you know, compensate for having so much weight on his head. So I'll put my weight on his shoulder just for now. Slide it up. My foot goes sideways on the edge underneath his, hip, underneath his shoulder. So that I can lean my weight towards his hips. I don't want to lean backwards. I don't want to lean forward because I don't want to lose the position. Because again, submission is based on submission fighting is based on position, control, and then submission. So I control them, I'm controlling my position so that I can apply that submission. And it's easy for me to just step over. If I want to, I can grab onto the arm so I can keep it nice and tight with me. And I sit down and then apply that arm. Yeah, so I put it on across, hook it, slide up in one motion. Step right over. Then apply the arm bar. Now I'm going to show you sometimes what happens as I go for the arm. He's going to grab onto his two hands as I apply for the arm. So in that case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook it with the opposite hand. Just create some space right there. So it's nice and tight against his chest. I'm going to bring it through and then slide the other foot through right away. At that point in time, he's still holding on, he's holding on for dear life. I'm going to slide my hand underneath his head, he grab onto my shin, and then I'm going to roll backwards, and there's a triangle. So again, I push it across. I attempt for the armbar, but he defends against it. But I continue anyway, because I have a good control position on him. Slide my hand through, open it up to give myself some space, and slide that foot through there. As soon as I slide it through, I take the other foot off to give me the opportunity to put my hand underneath and grab onto my shin. Then I roll back and I lock it nice and deep underneath my knee. At the same time, I still have an arm bar right here if I want. One more time, push it across, I hook it, I put all my weight on him, so I can slide it up. He starts to defend against it because he knows the arm bar is coming. Slide it over, put my hand inside. Open it up a little bit, slide that through, open up the other leg, and go underneath his head and grab onto my shin. There's a triangle. Hi, I'm Nigel Scandler, founder of the Tiger Jiu-Jitsu Self-Defense System. All these techniques and stuff like this is also on our website. You can check out our website at www.taijujitsu.com. And I'd like to thank you too for having the opportunity to give us this moment to show all the techniques that we actually can show based on Thai Jiu Jitsu.